the rematch. It's on, ladies and gentlemen. Harding versus Stats. Excuse me, a versus Hero. Stats got out of the group first place. <laughs> he looked really handsome in that Casper Cup teaser, but uh, at this point, you know, I feel like based on that series we saw, anything goes. I can't favor either of these players going into this PvP. It was really too can't. close. It was too close last time, Wolf. Simply too close. These guys went to the game three. It was neck and neck. Just about parting, you know. He, he's got so many tricks up his sleeve, even if he's in a dire situation. Obviously, that mothership looking for the win there with simple uh, sniping the observers. He can do something like this again. Maybe we'll see more proxies out of him this time around. Maybe we'll see even more proxies from Hero because he was overly aggressive in the last series. Yeah. Parting with some genuine experimentation with uh, Mothership in the previous series, as well as just kind of playing a little bit differently than he does in the in the last VP we just saw where he went Phoenix is in the robo, we never see Parting do that. Like he's definitely expanding his style a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. And Hero is showing that he could be cheesy. I mean, as you were just saying, this guy is showing us some stuff from him that we don't see. This group is just insane because it's it's like the ultimate test of Protoss and the Protoss of mind games. How well you know your opponents. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better PvP group. Obviously, most people don't enjoy watching a, a full group of Protosses, but these players certainly have made this one a bit unique. They definitely made it very interesting, even for you know the the non-Protoss fans. And here we go at the maps. Bonnie Research, Deadwing taken away from Potting, and Expedition Merry Go Round from here. We're gonna see Cactus Valley, Moonglade. Yummy, dummy. I can't wait to see that map. Uh, I can't even remember what it looks like. Oh, yeah, I can now, actually. There's a bunch of cacti on it. Yeah, well, like, <laughs> it's, it's in the Legacy of the Void, right? Yeah. So I remember it from there. It has a, it's a, it's a bit weird map. I don't really like it that much, but I don't hate it either. Well, it has been banned out in just about every best of series so far for a reason. Yeah. But it uh, looks like we're going to spice this series up before it even starts with this map. And, you know, um, we do get those two smaller maps, Overgrowth and uh, KSS, to uh, start things off. Or rather, to start and finish things off, I should say. This is it. This is the final best of three for this Pros for Pros. I Only can't Harding believe we're going to see one of these players go home. Hard to believe, man. May the best pvp -er win, Moonglade. Indeed. Cheers to that, Wolf. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The final best of three. Parting versus Hero. And the final match of round of 16's Group D. Our fifth Protoss versus Protoss. And our final Protoss versus Protoss. Oh, Already. yes! Parting, mm. I believe, anyways. Mm, it is, my friend. Yes. It is. I can see the screen down there. We got a first person view all game long if we want, Wolf. That's true. Now, uh, what sort of proxy this will be? I think it's going to be a classic proxy. We're going to see the, uh, the oh, two, no. two gate. Two gate. It's going to be two gate. Yeah, oh, I thought it was going to be classic. Oh, my goodness. In base two gate. Now, this is the one thing that has killed Hero multiple times in the past. Wouldn't it be funny if it eliminated him from the season two of Star League? What's so funny is you can never be certain if Parting is doing this as like a show as well. You can never be certain because Hero proxied Parting in their first game. It's true. And it's now. Parting is proxying again. I almost feel like Hero knows this is a good build to do against Hero on this map, but at the same time, he's also doing it just because he thinks it's going to be amusing and a, and a great way to, oh, to start the It's off. fantastic that he thinks like this as well, right? Yeah. And here we go with the first person view of Hero. Let's see what he's uh, uh, he's going to do. Is he going to throw down two gases and be like that stand sort of gritty play? It might just be. Looks like it. Only one, though. One so far. He's going to keep that probe production up. Second one should come anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. You know, making sure he's getting constant, uh, efficient mining from those close patches. And here we go, Wolf. I am so excited, man. Are we going to see Hero go down to another proxy two gate? Uh, Proxies two gate. like this are like 0-3 success rate today, right? Yeah, but this is happening. This I think this is like a little bit more unexpected well, this time around. Well, he's not going to scout it. He's not going to scout it at all. Every time we've had this scouted at this moment, except this one. He's going to see a zealot before he knows it's actually happening. This is absolutely horrible for Hero. 
Oh, I'm sure Potting knows just how close he is to having a victory. Um, now he's he feels really confident that there's nothing here. Skipping the the here we go. Okay, Let's here we go. Have a look at Hero's face. Surprise. Okay, now he has to micro better than perfect, but even with perfect micro here, I don't think it's a possibility to hold this with the greedy build he's chosen. Mothership Core is on the way. Parting is just microing this well. You know, he's getting in between those mineral patches. Oh, this was a bit of a mistake, but he's going to kill a lot of probes with this. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's worth it for these probes to be doing this. He's losing so many of them. And good targeting here by Parting. Mothership Core comes out, though, and Parting did not make back at home a Cybernetics Core. He didn't. He's going. He's going. Pretty much all in with this alone. He's gonna try to kill the zealot, but the probe traps him! No, oh, what a huge trap. Still a lot more probe kills here and not any left, man. 12 to 7 workers right now. Two more zealots will come out and ignore the mothership core. Notice he draws it away from his other zealots and actually saves that first zealot. It's actually still alive regening shields right now. And another one coming in. Ooh, really nice micro from here and still he loses a little too many. All oh, this probe coming, or the zealot coming for the cleanup job. You can't micro everything everywhere at once. No, you Not can't. even automaton two thousand could do that. <laughs> oh, one health on that zealot. Oh. He lost so much mining time, and now Parting is Six doubling his worker supply. Probes. Stalker is out there. One redeeming factor here. The big issue is that pylon. If he can kill a pylon, remember this is the key. If he can kill a pylon, it is the key. He can come back, but if he can't do that, two but stalkers are going to come out and end the game. Well, if he, yeah, if his economy is in shambles there, like maybe he can actually just make a gateway at home and play from there. And that's exactly what he has planned. Nexus cannon. Nexus cannon. He could actually just bring the, the zealots home at this point. He needs to attack. Hero needs to attack now and use his tech advantage with the stalker. He does. Oh, he, can't be he can't be taking hit point losses like this. Getting so low. He can make his cyber core very early as well, parting. So he will be able to get a stalker out pretty quickly the moment uh, this gateway finishes. This is why this is so important. He needs to get over there right now. Yeah, he has to get there ASAP. He had to get there yesterday. Yeah, he's actually already too late, like you're saying, basically. Uh, Hero is rebuilding his pro count, but with only one gateway and all of his chrono spent on that, this is going to be a, a tough. Uh, Here we go. Stalker being chrono boosted out. With good micro parting, I don't think it's going to lose enough probes to make this worth it. Plus, the Stalker is already so low, as you were mentioning before. Stalker is so low. Mothership Core already out. It's going to start trading. going to work. Exactly. It's like, oh, actually, I can't fight this. Oh, wow. Trading pretty nicely with this Stalker as well. Sit on top of the. Uh... This probe is lose loss has been unnecessary, but. Mm -hmm. Here comes a Stalker. Oh, uh, this is really bad for Hero now. Well, you know what? It's 15 to 12, so it's not the most horrible situation for Hero at this point, though he is, he is pretty far behind. True. Um, I'm just trying to look at other information here. Uh, Party still has the better production with now going up to three gates, uh, whereas Hero is still on just the one. You know what would be funny? If we saw like a probe sneak in there, power up those two gateways, turn them into warp gates, and then warp in from four gates. You know, in the old days, you used to be able to make pylons on the low ground that could do that. It's yeah. not going to work in, in today's contemporary society, though. Contemporary, contemporary society? <laughs> contemporary StarCraft, I should say. <laughs> well, he can even just do it in the main base. I mean, if he has enough sort of control, just throw a pylon up there. That's you got a great warp in. You got extra gateways to warp in from. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, it's a bit Rambo, but like it could work. I respect it if he does it. He's got a probe going over there, right? He's going to try. He's, He's going to try it. Low ground to start with. Uh oh, cannot lose the stalker there. Well, wakey, he's, distract. he's distracting. Hey, he's putting a pile on the pile. Oh, he's going up. Oh, he gets he's going up. <laughs> this is great. One gate research is done. It's done. It's a matter of time. I don't think he's switch. realizing the problem here. No, he's not. He hasn't actually realized the actual problem. The he's Korean like, commentators didn't even realize, man. Uh, this is that Rambo probe Moonglade theory right this here. This is Moonglade theory right here. I'm solving <laughs> problems right now. I'm creating. The scenario that's going to happen. Here we go, Warp Gate You on the saw way. the future, Moon Lady. Here it is. Two Warp Gates finished. That puts him up to five gates that he can use here. Oh! A time Warp. And the Warp in here right in his face. Four Stalkers. And target down that Sentry first. Probe even getting involved in the last Stalker on that last gateway. Oh, he's going to have photo and overcharge there. Yeah. He's going to push him back for the moment. Oh, don't get too greedy, Parting. He's going to lose some Stalkers here. Oh. Hero with one being a little too greedy. He actually could lose his mothership core as well. Okay. And there oh, we go. There he loses it. One more stalker gets targeted. Good targeting on that Nexus. That is five gateways for punting, by the way. You know, five gates, not he can't use them all constantly, but for that first wave he certainly could. 
Now uh, he's going to end up losing a pile here, which is not the end of the world. He got, he's going to be careful. Parting does not want to overcommit here. Just He's got time, you know. As long as he doesn't let this last pile go down, he's going to attack before it goes down. How many gates? Here he only has three gates, too. So even if he loses this pile, and it's like not the end of the world. Yep. Pulling fruit. Yep. He has to. And Zealot's up here he tanking so hard. He's just losing so many probes as well. So even if his attack gets fought back, he's so far behind in economy once again. Yep. And just warping up more and more Zealots. Now just right-click micring on these Stalkers. Sentry trying to get involved here. Actually helping out quite a bit. But it's not going to matter with the next uh, last warp in. GG Parting takes the lead. Wow. Our first successful proxy of the day. Now that was fantastic. What a show he made. Oh, man, I love it. Well, anyway, today has been a great PvP group. It actually has become so interesting. Even, like, yesterday's PvPs and today's PvP. Granted, a lot of it has to do with potting. Like, he just makes these games crazy. Really just tries really unique stuff, has great follow-up. And this is the first time we've seen a proxy actually succeed. Not directly succeed, but the follow-up was good enough. Yeah. I love your your uh, your theory. <laughs> Came true. I knew it would happen, man. It just it just made sense. He distracted so well with that stalker. Yeah, he sacked the stalker for he it. He just didn't even like Hero wasn't even thinking about that. I wouldn't have either. I'd be like, oh sick, I need everything I can get. I need this stalker right now. I will take it. Yeah. What is he doing? He's messing up. I don't care about the probe I'm main. Whatever. Uh, I'll yeah, deal with that later. Well, but it's no. like two extra warp ins right there, so it. It creates uh, such a production advantage for, for potting in that situation. Yeah, it's like five gates and the two gates are free that he added because he's already ahead in eco. Okay, we're going into Cactus Valley. The first Cactus Valley we've seen tonight. And uh, it's funny just to say the last one we'll be seeing as well. Probably the last one we'll see for a while until the best of fives come out. Yeah. Now this could